Hi, this is the Cool Geek, and in this video series, I'm going to cover how to remove duplicates, starting with how to remove duplicates with one column. The data that we are going to use, it's going to be a sales data, and it's going to have multiple columns such as customer ID, customer name, customer country, product sold, and so on and so forth. So many other details are available there, right? And obviously, the first example that we have is removing one column duplicates. Now, why do we do that? We do it because we sometimes want to get a summary of the unique values within a particular column, right? For example, let's say I have products sold, right? So I want to see the what are the unique products sold. If I just filter on the data here, you'll be able to see what are the unique products sold, right? So what I'm going to do is I can copy this and take it to the remove duplicates sheet that I have and paste it there. Right, so I get the same data here. Now, how do I remove duplicates? I go to the data tab and there's un under the data tools, I have something called as remove duplicates. If I remove duplicates and it will automatically select the column that I want to remove duplicates in, right? So if you have multiple columns, it will be listed here. Say okay, and you will get all the unique values in a particular column. Now, how, how can we reutilize this? Obviously, we can reutilize this to get a summary information of some kind of data. Like for example, uh, let's say I want to get the uh, sum of units sold, right? So I can just go here, say is equal to sum ifs, so I'm going to start by typing is equal to sum ifs. The sum range is going to be the unit sold. So it's going to be table one, unit sold, comma. Now the criteria range is going to be product sold. So I'm going to say product, sorry, table one, product sold, comma, this particular value, that is the criteria. If I close the bracket, I will get the unit sold for each of the criteria. So this is one of the purposes that we use remove duplicates but there are other ways right but the primary reason may be to just get the summary of our data using functions. Thank you for watching this video and if you like this video please do not forget to hit the thumbs up button below and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel.